Hello everyone, welcome back to America Truck Simulator. So today guy we're gonna be doing another mod review. Now this is our depth's Bobo, his 670 Bobo. Now um, this uh, this truck was on the workshop, it is still on the workshop, but it's not updated on the workshop. So I got this truck off of my ATS mod site. Um, off of, it's actually ATS LT is what it is, what the truck was on, and it has been updated. So we got a load of cars. We're in Bakerfield, California. We're heading down to uh, Los Angeles, California. Let's go, Ruth. Hope everyone's doing well. Turn right. Texture you know, I'll turn it mod off. Go straight on. That's right. Last time I seen it, it was doing that, it was the uh, real company mod making it do that. appreciate everyone coming by let me um uh, let me turn the sound down just a little bit i think it's a little bit too loud go ahead and turn it down just a touch here we'll go ahead and get a thumbnail real quick It's been a while since I run this truck. Come on. This camera is very tricky. That'll work. Like I said, hope everyone's doing well. I do apologize for your for the truck. I was gonna use the uh, Peterbilt uh, cab over, and it had a chrome issue, so I decided we would do this one.
They were almost the same color as that truck. texture like yeah uh, it was the real company mod. I turned that off and it stopped. I turned it back on. Take a look at the truck on the outside here. This is an older mod, guys. It's been around for a long time, but it is, it's still a pretty good truck. Uh, this truck was on the workshop. It is still on the workshop, but on the workshop model, it doesn't work. It hasn't been updated in a very long time. So if you go to the workshop, you see this truck, it will not work. today uh, we're gonna do a, a, a quite basic one today Keep the trucks run a Volvo engine with an eating full of transmission.
city of city limits of Los Angeles. I almost said Los Santos. <laughs> Too much GTA. They got it for speeding. Oh, get ready to turn left. Turn left. CHP! Curve, that's all right. We rolled the rim a little bit. So, we will be using this truck in the live stream, guys. I'm going to go ahead and say that now. I will be doing a live stream of the truck. I have not done it yet. It'll be sometimes in the coming up week and the week of this video posts. It'll be that week. I normally do my mining truck nights on Thursday night. Um, I run a mod truck on Thursday night, so ATS.
right, we're here. All right, well, they want this. Oh, they want it right there in that corner. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's do that side truck here. We can actually go this way. Like this. Oh, this way. Gotta get straightened out here where we can back in there. Let's take a look. Yeah. Let's straighten that a little bit more so we can see the... Okay, I can't see in them. I'll have to uh, adjust the mirrors. All right, hold on. Just so we're gonna adjust the mirrors real quick. See if it helps out a little bit here. I just got picked up the truck, so I haven't. I, th I thought I got everything set up, but I'm guessing I didn't, and that's the wrong thing. Mirrors. Let's see. Just to end some. Alright, there we go. That's a little... Alright, so it's going to be a little bit harder, too, because it's raining. All right, that was a good sign. Too light there. Pull up a little bit here. All right, so we drove extra drive 126 miles. It took two hours and 50 minutes to get here. We're saving 21.6 gallons of fuel. All right, so I'm going to show you uh, some things about the truck here. So you go into your dealership. Now this is our depth's Volvo. It's uh, 670. Right, 
So you got a Volvo. Alright, this is what it looks like in the dealership. You first get it, it only has one cab option for sleeper. Chassis, you have multiple chassis options. You have the uh, the classic 6x4, you have a 6x4 with a tail lift. You have a 6x4 mid lift. And a 6x4 low, lowered. 6x4 um, tail lift lowered. And then a 6x4 mid lift lowered. Alright. Transmissions, most of all this is Volvo engines. It's the Volvo D, D11s, uh, like that is 255. We got a few Cummins in here, like maybe three or four different Cummins. is like 500, 550, 600 horsepower with the Cummins ISX, 15600. But all it tops all off at 600 horsepower with Volvo engines. I saw the engines that this truck uh, comes with. Transmissions, you have Eaton Fullers, 10 speeds, 13 speeds. You have a I shift. I'm assuming that's a Volvo transmission. I'm not. I'm not really sure about that. 12 speed. Um, another a 10 speed. Eaton Fuller. Eaton Fuller. There's an Atlas and transmission. A six speed. That's why I could probably be automatic. Eaton Fuller 13. And a six speed. And now interiors. You have now the way this truck works, or the way it used to work, is it's going by. This is a standard uh, 900 degrees. That it's setting the steering wheel on that degree, the way it does. Um, you can't tell it does it, but that's probably what it is. Or what I've been told. I may be wrong, but that's what I was told. So it, it, it does change a little bit of the interior option right here. A little bit darker there. That did change, you know, that's, as you see, that changed the interior. You have multiple options here. That's actually they're not bad. That's a, that's a 1800 degree. So multiple different uh, interior options for the truck. Uh, paint jobs are a, lo a lot thin. You don't have too many paint jobs for the truck. Let you can find some textures. Paint jobs for it. You have your um, custom colors. All that works. See where it's just fine. You have your metallics. You have a few um, paint settings that was put in by Artem himself. For the truck. Now options on the outside, you have ton of options you can see. You have um, plates. This is a bar that goes on the bottom of the bumper. You can put lights set down here. Or if you wanted to do this right here. Like put flaps, you can do that. This is your grill. You have chrome. Paint. Black. Your logo, new logo, old logo. Change the grill there. You can put um, different mud. Uh, I can't talk. Bug shields on the truck. You got a chrome, glass, plastic, painted, plastic with logo. Or you can just put a, like a, 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 a ornament on there. Mirrors. You have the basic mirrors, the bonnet mirrors, bonnet mirrors. You have the B and L mirrors, plastic, chrome, or painted. That'll be your chrome mirrors. Here's the same thing with the side mirrors. You can do plastic with antennas, chrome, chrome with antennas with we'll that right there. Up here, you, this is your VNL lighting right here, which is standard, but you do, you do have multiple options here that you can use for the truck, like visors, more antennas up here. If you want to put a, a light on top like that, you can do that. That's been something with this truck for a long time. You can change this right here. Add the um, 
You need to make it chrome. All this we didn't do on our truck. I just want to kind of show you full options here for that. It gives you the little side lighting and the handles. You put side lighting on your side of your truck here. Uh, cover for the fifth wheel. You can do a no cover, plastic, chrome, or painted. You can uh, cover up your wheels like that. Wheels are normal on the truck, pretty much. We just kind of do it fast for the day. I will be doing another one of it. I'm more in-depth when, um, when I do a live stream with it. All right, guys. That's going to be it for today's video using the uh, Audit Volvo VNN. It's going to be a mod view. This was a, a, a kind of a short mod view today. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot better one uh, when I did the live stream of the truck. And I'll get in and I'll show you everything about it. What it has and everything. I a lot better when I did today. So make sure you tune into that. And, we'll, and I thank you for watching. Thank you for coming out and subscribing to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.